welcome to uh, Coffee with Developers, another episode here uh, today with Vasilika Klimova. She is a speaker, teacher. Uh, she's a developer at a fintech company uh, from Switzerland. She is co-organizer of Luxembourg JS, and uh, she is the founder of SkillUp. Uh, hello, Vasilika. How are you doing? Hi, Mark. I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. So the first thing that I want to ask you, um, you are the co-organizer of uh, Luxembourg uh, JS, which is the Luxembourg Meetup Group. And uh, what uh, you told me before that you moved to Luxembourg uh, a few years back. And what made you want to move to Luxembourg? It's my home country. Uh, yeah, firstly, I thought that it's like a, uh, maybe a very strange decision to go to Luxembourg, but it was with my previous company, Tech3D. And after about one year, I didn't regret about it. So I really love uh, this country and uh, so very safe country and uh, a lot of nature here. It's amazing. That's very nice to hear that you enjoy it. Let's talk a little bit about tech. Uh, let's start first with uh, your journey in tech. Take us through your journey. Yeah, I started in um, uh, university. So, and uh, in 2010, I became a full stack developer and uh, a full stack developer in PHP and in JavaScript. And uh, then I uh, started to work with our tech 3D company and I was uh, as a team lead front end already. So, and it was very interesting um, job there because we had different 3D tasks. So all my talks at conferences, they were born from this uh, work, so from 3D tasks. Uh, then after Artech 3D, so with Artech 3D, I moved to Luxembourg. And uh, later, after five years in the company, I uh, switched to FinTech area. So now I work in FinTech and Avalok, at Avalok company. And uh, a lot of different things uh, happened during uh, five years in, uh, at Artech 3D company. So yeah, I, I created Skill Up School here in Luxembourg and I became... Um, also, I did some IT agency and uh, so different activities happened so like with community as well. So I was community so organizer before and now with Luxembourg Jazz as well. That's awesome. Um, you, you just mentioned Luxembourg Jazz. Let's go a little bit into that. Um, can you tell us a little bit what, what it is? I think it's a meetup group, but uh, is there anything else behind it? And when did it start? Uh, so I think it started uh, about 2016, so before I came to Luxembourg. When I came to Luxembourg, uh, I immediately tried to find some JavaScript communities because I wanted to have new friends here. And I saw that there is one community, it was like one year old, I think. And um, so I started talk with guys since 2017. Uh, and in, two, uh, in 2019, I think, uh, guys suggested uh, me to become one of organizer as well. So it's a group, it's a community. Uh, we have a lot of developers from different countries. Usually it's not very big. We have quite cozy uh, events here. I, I remember I have been in uh, one or two, uh, one uh, online event and one in-person event. I remember the in-person event being very cozy. Uh, still, I think 25, 30 people, but uh, everyone really nice. I really like the meetups. Tell us what goes into organizing a meetup, because when you go, you just learn that, okay, there's a meetup. So they probably just set a date and they said, let's go, but that's probably not all there is to it. Can you tell us a little bit, what is everything that goes into organizing a meetup? Yeah, sure. Uh, when you organize meetup, firstly, you need to find the speakers. <laughs> so during COVID, actually, it was maybe even easier because everyone, uh, they were at home and uh, everyone wanted to talk, to have a network. So um, 
it was easier to find online speakers and now we need again to find new ones new speakers from here and so we always uh, try to encourage people to become a speaker we help with that so we can help with presentations with the idea of the talk of anything so and also we uh, we're trying to find the place where we can have our meetup. Uh, it's better to have it for free, of course, but not uh, always we, uh, we find place for free. Sometimes we pay for it by uh, ourselves. So um, it's like this. But I think the most important thing from uh, from events is to create this atmosphere of uh, not, not working, so good atmosphere for healthy uh, talks between different pe people because Luxembourg is a unique place. We have a lot of uh, immigrants uh, so from different countries, uh, not all of them from Europe. And uh, it's so cool to meet with uh, different cultures. Yes, that's something that I like about Luxembourg in general, that there are really people from everywhere in such a small place together. So you've been doing these meetups for quite a while and you probably gathered uh, some memories. And um, can you tell us about your favorite memory that you gathered from uh, one of the meetups? Uh, favorite memory? Actually, during COVID, it was a very fun talk and I really liked it. And um, I, I like, you know, when people, they share their passion. And it was one talk with two girls. Uh, another organizer found, um, found these speakers. Uh, it was so funny and so cool. We had about like 30 people online and girls, they were so artistic, so cool. They, uh, a lot of jokes during the talk. Uh, so you feel really this uh, feeling that the presence that they are here somewhere. And from meetups, you find, it's, you find some friends and it becomes like a small family for you. Thank you for that. That's been very uh, insightful. Why would you say uh, developers should attend meetups? What can they get out of it? Firstly, one of the uh, like popular things when some of developers, they want to learn something new, they can just apply for a talk and then learn it and then create a talk. But it's like cool for meetups because it's uh, a local um, story here. And uh, it's actually uh, becomes very good because person came from maybe another language or something or another framework and they found, found out something interesting in this technique and they speak about these tips and tricks and etc. So um, it's, a, um, it's an idea to learn something new and to then speak about it. Uh, the second thing, networking. You find you can find people uh, who are using like the same structure, the same pain, have the same pain in the projects. And um, the third th thing also from networking that you can just find friends for your life, friends. Well, that's very wholesome. That's uh, nice to hear. And I agree. The networking part is probably the most interesting. Getting to know new people, getting to know people with similar or different interests both equally uh, exciting. We talked about it very shortly in the beginning. You are uh, the founder of SkillUp, skillup.lu. Can you tell us a little bit about what it is? Uh, it's a web school because uh, in, my pre in my native country, I was also a teacher uh, since 2015. So mentor and teacher in different schools, on, uh, online and offline schools. And when I came here, uh, I, uh, I understood that I also want to have some activity here. And I decided, okay, I will create my own school. Uh, so when it worked, I, I have now students here, it's children and adult students. It's also sometimes networking because people come, they see me, parents of children, they know me. So uh, you have your environment around you. Uh, what I want to ask you about that, um, what, what are topics that uh, people learn in, uh, in SkillUp? So I have uh, another... Um, Another of my friends, developers who want to do something, Java course, uh, design course, but uh, we didn't uh, we didn't start with that. So we had uh, only front end course and we had WordPress course. That's all for now. Well, congratulations first on creating that school. Uh, must 
have been very challenging, which brings me to my next questions. Can you tell us about challenges you might have encountered uh, building that school? Yeah, firstly, it was a challenge to get the license to be able to do it because I am employee at the, at the Avalok. So I'm not allowed to work some somewhere else as full time, but I'm allowed to have business license. So I needed to deal with all this bureaucratic work to be able to create this school. I did it. And I think the second challenge actually was to find students because I wanted to share my knowledge, but I, I realized that no one knows me in Europe community, so in Luxembourg especially. I tried different uh, Google ads to for HTML school, like web school, create your website. And the people came from there, but they didn't apply for the course. And I even tried so, some local uh, aggregators for for courses also like i got one student from there but from facebook groups from my own friends from my own like uh, communities i got all my students yeah i imagine those challenges being uh, difficult but at the end you made it uh, which is which is great and uh, kudos for for doing this for for the community thanks uh, all right uh, what can you tell us is something you learned uh, while building skill up I think uh, a lot of patience <laughs> with students. <laughs> yeah, because uh, um, I think when you teach someone, and especially, you know, when you're not employee at some company, but it's your own business and you create it from scratch, it's, it takes a lot of, I think, empathy and um, soft skills to build this relationship with parents, with students, with children, with adults, because I have different, some of my students, they were like over 50 years. So you need patience, you need to be kind uh, and understand that a uh, different person, they have different issues with, and they start at different levels. So someone yeah. very good in this and someone is very good in this and you need to adapt for each student. Oh, that's a great insight, uh, Vasilika. Uh, so let's come to uh, what you do when you're not doing all of this community work and your company and working. You told me that you're a rescue driver. Can you tell us a little bit what, what that is, what you do and uh, how you can practice it? Uh, so with diving, I, I like yes very much. I started, uh, I think, in 2016. Yeah, uh, so first my trip was to Philippines. And uh, it was amazing. I really liked it. And then I decided to grow in this and got certifications, licenses. So it's called like open water diver and advanced open water and then rescue diver. And uh, I think it's amazing. And it also helps, helps me with my, mm, like how to breathe, for example, how to be calm. Because if you take your breath and don't breathe after, then you got a lot of problems under the water. <laughs> you need to breathe, yeah, very regular. Are there, like, is there a breathing exercise? You can, a short one, you can tell us about uh, how to calm down when you feel that you're getting stressed? Uh, yeah, of course. Do deep breaths, several deep breaths, and then you become calmer. So it really helps me a lot. Okay, nice. Yeah, I, tr I tried the diving once, uh, scuba diving in Mexico, and I really liked it. But here in Luxembourg, there's not so many opportunities to, uh, to do that. And I think if yeah. you do, it's not as exciting. I think uh, the closest place where I liked it, it was in si on Sicily, an island. So it okay. really was good. A lot of octopuses and uh, so amazing things. Oh, nice. And uh, you also told me you like movies. Uh, what sort of movies do you like? And what is your all-time favorite? From old times, I think Friends. It was like one of the most favorite uh, series. But if we talk about current one, so we just finished The Rings of Power. I really liked it. I know that a lot of critics to this series, but I really like it. A lot of emotions and again, patient, uh, is there and also i like from the latest what i saw it's upload series it's late series but it's funny it's a lot of new technologies and uh vr so i i like this cool yeah i for me it's the same with friends uh it's my 
probably my all-time favorite uh, series, even before many others that I also love a lot. All right. Uh, so I'm at the end of uh, my questions, Vasilika. Thanks a lot for your time. And also thanks for everyone that's watching or listening to this. And bye-bye, um, everyone. Also, bye-bye, uh, Vasilika. And uh, see you around. Thank you. Bye.